Hey everyone, this is me, Donna. Today I would like to talk about uh, things that are scarce, things that no longer exist, and things that uh, exist but are rarely promoted or advertised about, and things like that. Uh, the reason why I bring up this topic is here lately, you know, I've been watching a lot of 80s commercials and, you know, things from my childhood and growing up, and I just, I really enjoy it for some reason. I just, you know, love taking a trip down nostalgia lane. And it got me to thinking, you know, wow, you know, especially when I see products that no longer exist, you know, things that I don't see anymore. But anyway, um, of course, I'm getting some of my information from places like uh, BuzzFeed.com, Fortune.com, DataLounge.com, just different places on the Internet, along with my own knowledge that, hey, this doesn't exist anymore, or if it does, it just, it's rare. Uh, starting out, um, of course, we know that uh, arcades, you know, arcades of the past, um, areas where kids could go and play, you know, different video games, especially when video games were first starting out. That whole thing was new. Uh, kids used to enjoy going and playing on those things. Um, you rarely ever see that anymore. It's it's very rare. It'd be nice if they would kind of bring that back, um, have more arcades set up in different places. I think that would be fun. Even though, yeah, I mean it's it's something that's that's old and everything, but still it, it's fun and it's a way for kids to get together and socialize and things like that. I just really think that it would be good. Uh, just like the standalone malls. You don't really see that anymore. That That's very rare. But it'd be nice if they would bring that back. And I know people say, okay, uh, we got all this competition from uh, these big retailers online. Why? What would be the sense of that? Well, I would say to that is it's the experience of socializing and be, being around other people and just walking down and looking at the product before you buy it. You know, just it's just nice to walk around inside a building and just look at, it, at what you want to buy, and it's just it's just fun, in my opinion. Uh, of course, we don't have anything like that in my town. It's the nearest place of a mall is in Florence, Florence, Alabama, um, and that's kind of dying out. I think a problem with a lot of malls is the taking away of it, the entertainment. I think if more of these places would bring back the entertainment, like um, have people come out and sing or have um, maybe puppet shows or, you know, just more fun things that bring people together to watch and view. If you bring that back to these places, I think that would be a good thing and they would stay alive longer. But once you take that out... I mean, you're killing a place, pretty much. That's just like, say, like the, the, the mall in Florence. Uh, they took out, you know, years ago, they had a big pool. And people would throw money in there and make wishes and stuff like that. Well, then they took that out. Okay, years later, uh, you know, of course, we had the Romancing the Stone, stores like that. Things that intrigue people, that's different from the norm. Well, now they've went and taken that out. So it's like, you know, you got to have intrigue and entertainment. I mean, yeah, it's nice to be able to just have, uh, you know, products available, available for people to buy. But that's no longer, you know, just like I said earlier, you know, there's the com competition from online sources. So in order to make it really work... You've got to have the entertainment as well in order to make something like that last, in my opinion. And it's a good thing. Like I said, it's it's a way for people to socialize. I just, you know, I, I really think that's something that would make towns a little brighter, make, you know, just make life a little brighter, for pe a place for people to go to really enjoy themselves. Once you take that away, what's left other than people hanging out on street corners doing drugs? I mean, really? I mean, you know, and I think that's a big, huge part of the problem is they've taken out entertainment for people. You know, I just, 
that just irks me. It's like, you know, why? You know, why has real true centers and areas for people to to coexist and communicate and enjoy themselves? Why have those things been taken away? I mean, it's like, hello, you know, I, I just think that needs to be brought back. I mean, I really do. That, that's my opinion about it. Um, of course, also, you know, those hairstyle commercials that they used to do a lot during the 80s, especially for, like, shampoo uh, companies. I mean, yeah, there's shampoo commercials nowadays, but I noticed back in the 80s they were, they were big, you know, just huge because, you know, you had all those unique styles and, and all that, and the actual styles were, like, promoted. In those days, whereas now it's just, you know, how shiny and things like that, you know, it's it's different. You know, the, the commercials are different, differently formatted, but they used to be real popular back in the 80s. Um, I saw, you know, those glamour shot commercials that were real big. You know, you don't you don't see that anymore. You know, it's it's interesting. Uh, OK, um, things that no longer exist. Uh, of course, Enron, since all that scandal broke down, that doesn't exist. Uh, Blockbuster, um, you know, Blockbuster movie rentals and things like that. Uh, and, and not just Blockbuster, but other big name movie rental places. They're gone. You know, they don't, they don't exist anymore. That's kind of sad. Um, I wish there was a way to bring that back. Because, you know, it's kind of fun for people to go and rent movies and things like that, but... I mean, I understand that monetarily wise, is that even money wise? Let's just say money wise, it it doesn't make sense, and I can understand that. I mean, you know, they would be losing money. They just, you know, especially with Netflix and things like that. I mean, it just it doesn't make sense to keep them, you know, going. But it's just it's kind of sad though, because I have a lot of memories, you know, of of renting movies and family renting movies and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, it's just one of those things, you know, it just, I guess it ran its course, you know. But who knows? I mean, they they may find a way to bring it back. I don't know, but I doubt it. I mean, I don't know. Um, like big oil companies like uh, Amoco, you know, used to see those everywhere. That's gone. Uh, Pan Am, that's gone. You know, people used, you know, you used to see those 80s commercials, Fly with Pan Am, all that stuff, gone. You know, since they, they've had mergers and all that stuff, and I think filed for bankruptcy and all that, they just never, I guess, never recovered. Uh, uh, General Foods, um, since they merged with Kraft, you know, Kraft's kind of taken over, which, I mean, hey, you know, that, that happens in uh, industries. Uh, of course, Saturday morning cartoons. Mm, yeah, those are gone. I mean, which I'm sure there's some channels that probably show cartoons in the morning on Saturday mornings, but it's just, you know, the regular TV stations that I grew up with back when it was mostly cable. You didn't have satellite and all this stuff. Or if you did, it was, you had to have some money and, you know, people had those big, huge dishes and things like that. And, um, had to pay a big price for the subscription and all that stuff. Um, you know, we only had like NBC, CBS, ABC, um, channels like that. Uh, Fox 54, I remember that. Um, and they would have, you know, the Saturday morning cartoons like the Smurfs, uh, Thundercats, um, uh, the chipmunks, kid video, all those types of things. It's just sad that that's gone. And the cartoons, also, I would like to mention, you know, even in the evenings, like when you get out of school, you know, there would be cartoons. We used to love to uh, to go and watch reruns of the Jetsons and, um, what was it, Heathcliff and his garbage pile friends or something like that. I remember we used to watch that. And there's a few other things, you know, that we used to love to watch. Um, but you just don't see that anymore. And and I've noticed there's a difference in the quality of the cartoons that you know that do exist today. 
in my opinion, they're just not the same. And even like in the 90s, uh, especially like the mid 90s and on up, it's like they just wanted them to mostly be stupid. I mean, I'm sorry to say that I don't mean to offend anybody out there that that loved the 90s cartoons, but it's like a dumbing down. Is I mean, that's just the way it it feels for me. And this is my own opinion. But see, back in the 80s, a lot of times the cartoons had a moral to the story. They had something to say, something that made a child think, you know. Um, but in the 90s, uh, late 90s and on up, it's like it was just dumb. I mean, there was no moral. There was nothing, you know. It's just it didn't exist anymore. And it's just, you know, I just don't really care for the 90s cartoons but that's my opinion uh of course this uh saturday morning uh cereal commercials that were real big like in the 80s you know they did away with that because of the sugar content of the cereal you had all these people uh jumping up in arms about sugar you know being in cereal like that stopped anybody from buying cereal but they didn't want it associated with cartoons. That's just so dumb. I mean, come on. I mean, that was part of the fun, watching the cereal commercials. I mean, I may sound silly here, and some people may disagree and think I'm an idiot. But, you know, that's just, to me, that was part of the fun, and along with watching the cartoons is watching the cereal commercials. Yeah, they were sugary, but so what? Big deal. Uh, of course, Friday night videos. I used to stay up late on Friday nights as a teenager and watch Friday night videos. I used to love to watch that, but now that's gone. But that was really popular back, you know, back when I was growing up. Uh, and of course, you remember the like the McDonald's friends, like the burglar and all that. You know, you used to see a lot of commercials that had those characters in them. I mean, you might occasionally see a McDonald's commercial with that in there, but not anymore. I mean, not not like it used to be, because they used to be real, real uh, popular back in the day, and, you know, you'd always see them, and it would do something, you know, kind of funny and silly and all that, but you just, you don't see that anymore nowadays. Um, okay, now, for products that exist, but aren't really advertised, um, Alberta VO5. I remember those were big commercials back in the day. You don't really see commercials like that. Um, Band Roll On. Don't really see those commercials that much anymore. Shower to Shower. Brute. Uh, Secrets. Uh, legs. Remember those Legs commercials where the uh, pantyhose is in a little egg uh, or egg shaped? Uh, thing. Uh, those were real popular back in the 80s. You don't see those really anymore. I mean, you might occasionally, but very rarely. Prell. I remember that. Prell shampoo. Uh, Joy dish uh, detergent. You don't really see commercials for that anymore. Surf. Remember surf laundry detergent? Don't really see many commercials on that, or I haven't lately. Uh, remember Mead Trapper Keepers? Those were real popular back in the day. Used to see those all the time. And, you know, every kid, every popular kid would show off their mead trapper keeper at school. But uh, those are just some of the things that I've noticed that, you know, I wanted to share with you guys out there. Uh, sorry if I've rambled on and sounded silly or anything like that. Um, and maybe I go overboard on correcting myself. And I'm, I apologize for that, too. But... But yeah, I just wanted to put that out there and see what you guys think. Uh, if any of you can think of anything else that I didn't mention that you noticed that is either scarce or doesn't exist anymore, uh, please share in the comment section. Um, I would have liked to, to hear your opinion and comments on that. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.